Hi, and welcome to the April edition of Model Collector Blog. Uh, before I go any further, just two quick responses to viewers who've uh, been kind enough to pass comments on their opinions, etc. The Scottish Boy 1987 ref was referring to the uh, Bat Bike, you know, the £99 one. You're absolutely right, it is a gorgeous model. I guarantee you it's a beauty. Expensive, but you're going to love the next one I've got coming up. Um, to Channel ATA, uh, pass a comment, do I prefer... Uh, uh, say, for instance, uh, uh, original uh, omnibus, or should I say, uh, Oxford diecast to Corgi. I don't actually have a preference for any manufacturer. You know, obviously, I have a preference for Vauxhalls. I like TV-related. I like aircraft. But I judge each model as it comes in from any manufacturer. I think it wouldn't be worth my salt to pass uh, my personal bias on for each you know, manufacturer. The absolute truth is. Over the last year and a half, two years, ever since Hornby took over Corgi, there's been a massive uh, restructuring of the whole organization. And unfortunately, we haven't had so many models in for review as we used to have in the past. So it's not a question of me being selective and shuffling Corgi to one side. It's a question of how many I actually get to see. Uh, there have been lots that I'd have loved to have reviewed, but never got the chance to. And that's no reflection against Corgi whatsoever. So in other words, I have no bias against any company. No company is so bad or so great that I should you know, pass on them one way or another. Each model individually assessed. Right, on to my little choices for April. Model of the month, forgive me, it is another TV related. Yes, it's another Batmobile. This is the 143rd scale uh, Hot Wheels Batmobile. It's priced at £39.99. They're making up to 10,000 of them. Now that sounds like a big quantity, and by general collecting standards, it is. But I think this one is going to sell out very, very, very fast. It's absolutely superb. Just as a scale model, regardless of what it is of, it is outstanding. A beautiful gloss finish, real attention to detail, uh, the interior, the front grille, uh, the exhaust system, etc. Absolutely stunning. Um, I don't think it could be bettered. It's even got front steering, which of course a lot of people say, well, so what? They had that with Dinky Toys and Corgi Toys years and years ago. It's something that hasn't been done on 143rd scale models for a long time, I feel, and it's certainly very welcome. It really is a beautiful model. Thoroughly recommend it. Uh, next one, if your budget doesn't stretch that far, is this absolutely gorgeous Oxford Diecast 148th scale, that's N gauge. Uh, RT bus. Now, <clears throat> £4.25, thereabouts, I think it's a gem. I really, really adore it. Okay, so you're not going to get the depth of detail that you would get on 143rd or 150th, etc. But if you're on a budget, it's beautiful. Even if you're not on a budget, I'd still recommend it to you. Don't be put off by the fact that it's a small scale. Think of the early Matchbox toys, and you've got about the right idea. Except that this one has super quality. It's got full interior to it. Beautiful grille. This is the um, um, RTL, which is the Leyland grille. They also do uh, the standard RT with an AEC grille. And there'll be plenty more to follow, I'm sure. But for £4.25, I think it's an absolute gem. and thoroughly recommend it. My next model is rather an unusual one. You, uh, it's a company called Jotus. They do all sorts of buses. If you've read the magazine, you've seen the uh, Volvo bus that was reviewed recently, which is resin. This is another resin model. I think Jotus is a clearinghouse for, for very many different manufacturers in the Hong Kong region of resin models. It's about £30. It's of the Toyota MR Spider, which was quite a rare car anyway. And as I say, for about £30, it really is top, top quality. Easily approaching Sparks quality uh, of manufacture. Uh, you'll have to go on the website and look up Jotus. They do have a website, and you can order directly from them from Hong Kong. Not sure much, uh, how much the postage will be, but I'd recommend it if you're a Toyota fan. Or if you just like sports cars, this is real beauty. Beautiful wheels on it, actually gorgeous. Next item from Corgi Trackside is the Dennis Fire Engine. Now this is uh, around about £10.99. Uh, 176th scale. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. With a detachable 
uh, ladder. Obviously it doesn't extend, but the whole assembly here is detachable. Bit of a fiddle to get it off and back on again. Do it carefully if you want to display it separately. It, it's not brilliant, 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 brilliant. It's good, and I like it. I like the shape, I like the, the, the casting detail to it, and I love the grill on it. So I just think it's a fantastic model to go for. Uh, finally, uh, is original omnibus. Now this is, uh, I've got to look at my notes here, right eclipse Gemini, go northeast. Well it couldn't be anything else with that fantastic image of the uh, Angel of the North on it. Now not everybody's going to like models that are so heavily decorated etc. I think it's a reflection of what's going on in the high street as we see it and I think this is a lovely lovely model. Uh, the pink may shock you a little bit but the, uh, the actual tampo printing on it is superb. Really really lovely model. About 30 pounds. I think they've done 1300 of them and on the original omnibus is still there you know. I mean okay CM&L are great and I love them too but I think you know your original omnibus has a lot going for it still so and this is a super model thoroughly recommend it. So that's my choice for April and stay tuned soon because we'll have the May ones coming up.